available. So, yeah. So, next speaker is Professor B. K. Ronge from uh, Principal Sri Vittal Education Research Institute. He will be t talking about outreach to village schools, another model project under NKN. And actually, after that, we have one more speaker. Dr. Manu Singh is waiting off on the VC, so finally he could join. He will address us maybe for 10 minutes after this talk. Good afternoon, one and all. I take this opportunity to thank organizers for giving me opportunity to present our work on ICT-enabled school education in rural areas around 15 to 20 kilometers from NKN node. Let me acknowledge the contribution of eminent personalities in this project. Dr. Sinna and Dr. Basu from DAE, BARC, Dr. Chidambaram, Professor Raghavan, Professor Dehkne, and uh, Dr. Gairola from NKN side, Dr. Anil Kakodkar from Rajiv Gandhi Science and Technology Commission, Dr. Phatak from IIT Bombay, Dr. Patankar and Dr. Suri from BARC. This project is implemented in rural area of Pandarpur in Maharashtra. Being very remote place where our institute is working, I would like to introduce in brief about the institution, Sri Vithal Education and Research Institute Pandarpur, the trust established by a group of technocrats, most of whom having rural background. This institute runs four professional colleges in a village, Gopalpur, near Pandarpur, having total student strength more than 4,000 and faculty strength of around 280. 50% of the students live in the campus. Out of that, around 1,000 are girl students. This is the overview of our campus. This is engineering college building. In addition to diploma and degree courses, we offer PhD programs in all the branches of engineering and PG and PG uh, courses in engineering and pharmacy. On 15 September 2011, MOU was signed between Bhabha Atomic Research Center, Mumbai, and our institute, popularly known as SWERI, to establish rural human and resource development facility as DAE Outreach Center. This center got NKN connectivity which was inaugurated by Padmi Bhushan Dr. Anil Kakodkar as NKN Application Center. And to go for experimentation with pilot project, a proof of concept demonstration of NKN connectivity was carried out with a school located in Anavli, a small village. whereby Professor Raghavan, Professor Dekne, Dr. Gairola participated in this demonstration along with uh, BARC people and school children. The project has been funded by Rajiv Gandhi Science and Technology Commission, Government of Maharashtra, costing around 1.37 crores 
for the du duration of three years. The project idea is motivated by the following points. There is a need for connecting the rural students to the knowledge base to reduce disparity between urban and rural students. This is possible through high-speed NKN connectivity. Practically, it will not be feasible to connect all the schools through NKN due to high capital, operational, and maintenance costs. These costs can be minimized by connecting various schools through Wi-Fi to a NKN center. Objectives of the projects are to install the connectivity between NKN center and rural schools and maintaining it. To provide the operational training to the end users. To provide audio-visual facility and its training. To deliver the ICT-based contents through this infrastructure. To develop a methodology for effective usage of facility for knowledge enhancement of rural students and giving opportunity to rural students for getting exposure to the online sessions from experts in the fields. Let me acknowledge the role of various organizations involved. DEBRC approved RHRDF facility as DE Outreach Center and created foundation for this project. NIC provided connect, NKN connectivity for this outreach center. RGSTC, as mentioned, funded this project and has been monitoring the implementation of the project. Responsibility of execution of this project, of course, lies with SWERI through infrastructure building. IIT Bombay has provided Akash tablets and training and content development. Content development and delivery uh, responsibility has also been taken by Maharashtra Knowledge Foundation through another project funded by RGSTC. Project implementation till now can be grouped in three phases. In first phase, focus is on NKN connectivity through Wi-Fi to the schools. Before starting this phase, a preliminary survey was carried out in around 16 schools in rural area of Pandarpur Taloka in the radius up to 20 kilometers in order to find out the feasibility status of the project. It was observed that no training facilities available in the schools to impart skill and knowledge to the rural students to learn new relevant technologies. The rural students are in need of internet facility for education purpose. Study was also carried out on network installation parameters of all these schools, such as distance from central site and point-to-point -point visibility of the location. These are the schools around Swiri campus, the that NK node surveyed in this project. Out of the 16 schools, these are the five schools which have been finally selected for this pilot project. This is the overview of Wi-Fi connectivity to these five schools from NKN Application Center. The details of the schools in, term, in terms of student strength and link speed is given in this slide. This project reaches to more than 3,000 students in rural area. Here, connectivity of various devices at NKN application center is shown, whereas this slide gives the connectivity of various uh, devices in each of the schools. These are photographs of uh, various devices 
and the setup. We face some difficulties in the initial phase of implementation, such as power fluctuation was observed to be the major problem. Then mishandling of connectivity setup because of lack of training. Then disturbance in direction of antenna due to wind flow, improper connections, and security of network. The following corrective steps were taken to resolve the problems. Technology awareness training programs were conducted for project staff and in-charge school teachers. Soft manual was prepared and implemented. Modifications were made in the components of infrastructure based on initial operational experience. Extensive monitoring and maintenance system was developed to maintain the network in working condition. In phase two, use of Akash tablet was demonstrated through this NKN facility. Okay, sir. These are the uh, photos of some of the photos of uh, distributing tablets and uh, conducting trainings for students and teachers. A systematic methodology was formulated for efficient use of NKN through PCs. In the uh, last two months of implementation, we have uh, reached to certain outcomes at preliminary level. These are new content delivery approach using NKN and tablets is taking shape. Changes are observed in students and teachers learning attitude. It is observed that the project with tablets along with NKN connectivity brings curiosity in learning among the students. Courses for teachers and students are developed to introduce ICT enabled school education. Students have carried out certain projects for understanding life skills of different professionals in the villages. These are the photographs. In phase three, recently we have installed audio visuality, uh, visual setup along with NKN facility. This is the overview of connectivity. Actually, we have, as mentioned earlier, RHRDF facility as DE Outreach Center, uh, in which we are going to uh, demonstrate technologies developed by BARC. And these technologies will also be demonstrated through these uh, school children through NKN facility. So we have set certain parameters for monitoring the effectiveness of this project, monitoring the changes in awareness level of the students, feedback of students, teachers, and parents about the changes due to usage of various modules and activities, number of programs and new activities introduced through this facility. To summarize, infrastructure implementation is completed and content development compatible to ICT-enabled school education is under process. Infrastructure implementation documents are useful for replication of the project. The content delivery experience documents are useful for effective implementation. Audiovisual connectivity utilization needs to be studied through implementation for next two years to formulate effective methodology. Five more schools will be connected to NKN application center. The ICT-based contents will be utilized for effective teaching learning process and phase-wise to all the classes. So with this, I conclude my uh, presentation. I cordially invite you all to Pandarpur popularly known as South Kashi of India and spiritual capital of Maharashtra. Thank you very much. Sir, please give me one minute. That online demo, and this thing is there, audiovisual facility. Okay. Please, sir. Yeah. Actually, schools are connected through NKN using audiovisual setup and uh
Uh, actually, uh, students uh, from Pan uh, Pandharpur is waiting since uh, morning. They want to be online just for one minute. So I request yeah, just sure. for one minute to get connected to Pandharpur. Good afternoon. Uh, sorry for taking extra time. Actually, uh, recently we have connected this audiovisual facility, which we are trying to test on this point-to-point -point, uh, Wi-Fi connectivity, where uh, within 10 to 15 kilometers, five schools we have connected. And uh, this is maybe the uh, first time we are bringing it live. And uh, they were very enthusiastic. Some of the schools were not connecting, so they, they requested and forced us. So, uh, Mahindra, hello. Uh, Patankar, sir. Uh, can you say something? And, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, positively. Uh, hello. Uh, the children in the villages who have been connected with NKN uh, network and having Akash tablets have become very enthusiastic and it has generated a huge enthusiasm in learning new mechanisms in study in, in learning the edu in the education itself and this experience of getting connected from a village school to an international conference is a novelty in itself and all of them are very eager to have few words at Bangalore yeah, with sir. the audience or with the desk there. Yeah, and it will be highly appreciated. Yeah, can you please quickly do it? Uh, we can have an interaction on a global table from the villages to the urban cities and developed countries. This is a novel experiment and Wi-Fi connectivity of NKL has enabled to take and get to the last man and last boy in a school who will get access to a huge knowledge information of the world which has been created for the betterment of the whole community. Thank you very much all NK and all connected people who have given this opportunity for villages to be on global scene. Sir, and that too in Pandarpur villages. Uh, sir, can you connect? I will leave uh, this to others. Yeah. Can you quickly show the other schools the, so quickly because we have we are running out of time. In fact, the control is on the uh, NKN side, so they have to switch over this screen to the other schools. Our all schools are there on this screen, basically. Fine. I, I close at this point. We'll close that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you very much uh, for the. Thank you. Thank board. you very much. And we'll close yeah. this uh, presentation side. And we have... Yeah. Sir, I, I, I am Shank Sampath Kumar from Shankar Netralaya, Chennai. Here, here. Yes. Here, sir. Last question. <laughs> okay. Achha, this is again connected with the last presentation, okay, on the Bandarpur school. Actually, I just wanted to know the technical part of the last thing, that Wi-Fi connectivity you are talking about. Was it a line of sight connectivity because 20 kilometers is quite far away? And the other thing is you mentioned something like 30 to 40 MB kind of bandwidths. And uh, which agency did it for you? What kind of cars and things? If you have any da data on that. Asked, like both of you are asked, Wi-Fi connectivity costs like around 1 lakh we got uh, per school. Uh, that's like uh, 5 schools we, we spent around 5 lakh rupees only for uh, Wi-Fi connectivity. And uh, like as you have seen the architecture uh, there we have used at central location the sector antennas uh, which will uh, kind of provide the Wi-Fi connectivity uh, with 120, 120 and 120. So you can uh, cover all the 360 radius and that's why in the next phase we are going to add few more school that's that time we may not need more modifications at central site only the parabolic antenna will be required at uh, school side. And then uh, the, there, there we had selected one farthest school. There was a problem for this uh, uh, sector antenna, and and that's why uh, we we selected like point of point to point connectivity. So we used two parabolic antenna. And uh, what was another question? 
it's it's a li with line of sight no, I just wanted to know the latency in that latency, yes. latency is less than uh, uh, 3 milliseconds 3 to 4 milliseconds 3 to 4 5 milliseconds possible yeah, oh, i think okay uh, thank you thank you thank you